I'm making a change today. The liquor been taking the pain away. I heard you was giving your chain away. That's kind of like giving your fame away. What's wrong with you? I sit in a box with our own. Yo, what's up, broski? It's Keanu coming at you with a um, updated deck profile. I don't think, I think we've touched on this baby with the structure decks originally released. Um, the Cyber Dark deck profile. Um, this one, I will admit, leans a little heavy into like the Cyber Dragon like packages. Um, so this isn't like the pure Cyber Dark or anything like that, but this is just something like I've been feeling pretty comfortable playing. Um, but I'll go through the card by card and I'll kind of let you know. And if you want to see like a little test hand like video or like combo tutorial, um, get this video to 25 likes and I'll be happy to do that. Um, but yeah, like the video, comment down below what you would change and subscribe to the channel and um, we'll go ahead and get into it. So first up, just one Cyber Dark Chimera. I don't think um, any more than one uh, is like necessary. It's super easy to get to. Um, really, you're just like searching those, um, the power bond off this card. You just discard one spell or trap, search power bond. And then you can use cards in your graveyard. Like um, you, can, you can banish those as the fusion materials. Um, so really nice card and it has like synergy with your it's like cyber load fusion to kind of shuffle those cards back in rotation and then next up one edge one horn one kill you just play all the pieces um this is like can poke directly uh, i believe this one does piercing this does like a little bit of burn damage so i mean i guess it could come up in time um next for the cyber dark dragon cards uh three claw um Claw is like obviously the best one. Uh, you can just pitch it to add a cyber dark spell trap from your deck to your hand, uh, which is um, pretty nice because all the cyber dark cards are like just crazy. Um, and then during damage calc, if a monster equipped with this card battles, you can send one monster from the extra deck to the graveyard. So you can like, in a little bit like pure version, you can run like uh, Intus um, and stuff like that to get additional pops on field, um, which is pretty, pretty neat, pretty spicy. Um, or you can just set up like graveyard setup um, for your cyber dark and dragon, stuff like that. Um, and then I only run one cannon because deck space is pretty tight and you just pitch this and add a cyber dark monster. Yeah, yeah, you discard this, add one cyber dark monster from your deck to your hand. And during damage calc of a monster equipped with this card battles, you can send one monster from your deck to the grave. So that's pretty nice little setup. Um, because you can do stuff like Slifer Sky Dragon in this deck, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, this is not that version of it, but video gets 30 likes, I'll drop that uh, profile. And then one attachment cyber, um, which makes your cyber dark um, a little baby cyber darks, like pretty big, because it gives them an additional 600. Um, this is super nice. You start one dragon machine cyber monster you control, equip this card with it from the hand to, or field, uh, equip this card from your hand or field to it. Uh, while this card is in in equip card, the equip monster gains 600 attack if this card is sent to the graveyard while equipped to a monster. You can target one other dragon or machine cyber drum monster in your graveyard spell summon it. Um, so it's a pretty nice little card. Um, that's it for the cyber dark-ish cards. Uh, next up I run triple Cydra. Um, I know this is a lot different than like the pure versions, but I this is like an OTK deck. Um, it's easy to get into Infinity, uh, stuff like that. Uh, best card in the deck, Cyber Dragon Core, searches everything. Um, it's just terrific. Uh, one Hers, I think Hers is like fine because you can dump it off the, the spell card. Um, if you have Hers and Galaxy Soldier in hand, it's pretty good. A lot of people don't run uh, Galaxy Soldier in Cyber Dark. Um, Cause you know, there are times you could end up like accidentally end up with like a handful of darks and like a galaxy soldier and that kind of sucks, but it's just too easy to get into infinity with it. With that Omni Gate, you can really like pop off. Um, that's it for the cyber dragon monsters. Um, next up for the spells, cyber dark realm. Um, this card's incredible. When this card's activated, you can add one cyber dark monster from your deck to your hand. Um, with a different name from the cards in your graveyard during your main phase you can immediately after this effect resolves It's two separate effects. Obviously normal some one cyber dark monster uh, You can only use the previous effect of cyber dark realm once per turn if you equip a monster from your graveyard by the effect of cyber dark monster that um, That activated when it was normal or special summon you can equip from your opponent's graveyard instead 
Um, so super nice. I always actually forget the last effect. And a lot of people, especially on release, um, they were they thought you immediately had to normal summon after this card was activated. Like you add and then immediately normal summon. And um, just for like clarification, if you don't have it already, it's like the um, like true Draco spells. Um, pretty much like you it's it's a completely separate effect um next up double cybernetic horizon uh, you only need two of these um, you don't want to get bricked up on these uh and this is always treated as a cyber dark card uh send two dragon and or machine monsters with different attributes to the graveyard one each from your hand and deck so you can send core i mean hers um so it's pretty nice add one dragon or machine cyber monster from your deck to your hand and if you do send one machine cyber fusion monster from your extra deck to the graveyard, you can only activate one cybernetic horizon per turn. You cannot special monsters from the extra deck the turn you activate this card except machines. Um, so nice two of. Uh, one cyber dark inferno. Um, cards cannot be destroyed by uh, your opponent's card effects. Also, uh, your opponent cannot target them card effects. Uh, this gives you like the additional normal summon. Also, um, I like it. The thing about cutting it, because deck space is pretty tight. Um, if this was a pure version, I would i would never cut it, but uh, it's, it's a nice card. Uh, three emergency. You already know. You already know what emergency does. Um, three machine dupe. This is heavy, heavy cyber dragon package. Um, so since we run three siders, three cores, uh, just slap down your core, search your spell card, uh, machine dupe, go into infinity. And then just pop all the way off because your hand the rest of your hand is like probably just straight gas after that so um nice little cards uh, one cyber repair plant one overload fusion um only like in pure cyber dragon i run two uh cyber repair plant but it's easily searchable so it's it's all good um because if your hand's kind of like if your hand's kind of iffy like sometimes you normal summon core um link it off and then you immediately can add one light machine monster from your deck to your hand which i was running like a jizakiru but well deck space is kind of tight so you can always like side that in um uh one overload fusion like i said uh one cyber load fusion uh one power bond only run one like yeah if you draw it and come here it kind of sucks because you don't get that like i don't know you don't get to search it but the Chimera will still let you banish cards from your graveyard uh, for Power Bond. Um, so, super nice. Uh, my only, like, back row remo removal going first is Double Lightning Storm. Uh, one called by the grave uh, just helps you play through hand traps, of course. Especially if they have Droll, that would kind of suck. Uh, for the traps, Triple Imperm. Um, better than Valor. I think... And, and these came in the structure deck, so you should have it. Uh, one Cyber Dark Invasion. Uh, so this is actually a pretty cool card. Uh, easily search. Mm, yeah, it's easily searchable, kind of. Uh, once per turn, you can activate one of these effects. Target one Cyber Dark Effect monster you control. Equip one Dragon or Machine monster from either graveyard to it as an equip spell. That gives it a thousand attacks, so it makes it pretty beefy. And then the second effect is send one equip card you control. Um, you control equip to a Machine monster to your, the graveyard to destroy one card your opponent controls. You can only use each effect of invasion once per turn. And then for the 40 second card, uh, Cybernetic Overflow and just pop your uh, pop your opponent's board pretty much. Um, it's easily get easy to get like two or three pops uh, with Overflow. Uh, that's it for the main deck. I try to zoom through it because I mean, it's all, I don't want to say it's standard, but a lot of these cards don't need that much explanation. Um, Cyberdark End Dragon. Um, He's a boss. It's super easy to get into because um, it's like two ways. It kind of has like that uh, Colossus effect. Uh, must either be fusion summon or special summon by tributing one level 10 or a lower cyber dark fusion monster equipped with a cyber end dragon. Um, so uh, I don't run uh, cyber eternal, um, but one guy asked me, um, yeah, I think he was playing on master duel. I think he tried to cyber. No, he was playing on Nexus. I think he tried to cyber eternal back his special summon cyber dark end dragon but he said it returned to his extra deck i'm pretty sure that happened because um he probably like, attributed it and didn't like properly fusion summon it but i don't know um yeah but it's unaffected by your opponent's activated uh effects 
Once per turn, you can equip one monster from either graveyard to this card. This card can attack a number of times each battle phase up to the number of equipped cards equipped to it. Um, so he's a monster. Uh, you can just swing a whole bunch of times. Um, terrific card. Uh, Cyber Darkness Dragon. Uh, you'll probably like never go into it, honestly. Uh, Cyber Dark Dragon. Uh, excuse the comments. I know they look trash. Uh, Chimera Rampage Dragon, uh, Pops Back Row, can swing multiple times. If you power bond into it, it's just, it's pretty much like a kill shot. Uh, one Chimera Tech Over Dragon, um, cause it's pretty nuts. You just, you can power bond like fusion, like Cyber Dragon, banish all your machine cards from your graveyard, uh, bring it out, be huge, can swing like eight times. Pretty sick actually. Um, and which is nice because if you banish all your cards, if you just summon it like overload, you can cyberload fusion, um, like on the follow up, um, to shuffle all your cards back. Uh, one cyber and dragon, uh, one cyber twin dragon, just because I feel like I don't know, I always like running cyber twin dragon. It was like one of the first um, cyber dragon monsters I saw, like in the show, I believe. Um, and then that's it for the fusions. Uh, one Al Mirage, because sometimes you just gotta link off core, get things going. Uh, one Cyber Drink Singer, Seeger, because it actually comes up. Um, that's it for the links. Um, double Infinity, of course. Double Nova, because um, obviously you can summon Nova, attach one, bring one back. Uh, you can boost this card. This Omni Gate also sucks up. Um, it is targeting, which kind of sucks, but it's fine. Um, and then one Mega Fleet to rip extra deck uh, spots. So that is it for. Well, let me get these back up here. That's it for the deck profile. Remember, get this video 25 likes. I'll show you a test hand combo tutorial. Um, get it 30 likes. I'll drop like the pure, pure Cyber Dark list. Maybe throw in a little Slifer, Slifer, um, Slifer action in there. And um, subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment down below, and we'll see you next time.